the leader doing this? Heck, it's your last name. What did you <laughs> need? When, either, oh, when it was question. 2014 and you were trying to start this, what, what, what did you most yeah. need? Oh my God, that's such a great question. And I definitely, at some points, I think any leader of any sort of social movement, you know, hard things are hard and it's very easy to burn out um, and get exhausted. Um, I've definitely had some points where I like, wasn't sure, you know, that I was going to keep going or just that I had the energy, but I think two things, like one of my favorite quotes is Bishop Desmond Tutu, who is quoted as having said that he is a prisoner of hope. And that's how I feel. I'm a prisoner of hope. And so that's what keeps me going. I do believe it's my life's work and it's my obligation. It's my, it's the service that I was sort of put on the planet to do. And so I don't really have a choice. I do it because I must. Um, but I do think that like right now, and I'm really sensitive about this, especially for my sisters of color who are doing this work, it is really hard and they need a lot of support and it's hard day in and day out. And, um, and I think hard, much harder for my sisters of color who do this. Uh, and you know, I have a lot of privilege and I'm really lucky that I have a lot of the support that I have. Not everyone has that. So I think, you know, the community is everything. And, um, I've been writing a lot about that in my spare time is just like, we all need community. It is the most, maybe this is a good, like full circle place to bring our interview because I think ultimately democracy at its best is really about these finding a community of shared values, people who care about the same things that you care about and want to make the world, want to make our country and the world better, you know, for our families, for each other that's really what America is. It's that common belief that we were all created equal, that we own, that the government is ours, that we own it. I can't tell you the number of people who tell me they read the Declaration of Independence every year on the 4th of July, just for fun. So like, those are the things that bring us together. And I think we all just on a very basic human level, everyone needs that. And at its best, you know, that's, that's who we are. I can't say anything better. Why don't we end there? Uh, Lauren Leader, the head of All In Together. Thank you so much for your work. Thanks for spending some time with us. Thanks for being a democracy nerd. Uh, such a good conversation. Thank you. Hope we have a chance to connect again. Yeah, I love it.